Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Tawny and I love doing handbag reviews and comparisons for you. Today we're going to be doing a slightly different video. I'm going to be doing an update and a wear and tear on Marc Jacobs' The Tote Bag. If you saw in a previous video, I did a comparison on the mini size tote bag in the leather, as well as the mini size in the canvas and the small size in the canvas. So I have an update for you. Um, I've had this bag for about seven months now. I don't wear it every single day because I do rotate through my handbags, but I have worn this quite a lot. It's become one of my go-tos for daily wear because to me it's very fuss-free. Um, it's all leather and I just wanted to kind of zoom in and show you that even with quite a bit of wear, the leather still looks great. I don't see any scratches, any dings on here that's very obvious. I will say that when I wear dark denim or pants or dark clothing, I do notice just the very slightest bit of color transfer. I don't know if that's gonna pick up on the camera, but I am going to try using some leather conditioner on the leather and seeing if that makes it go away. There's just a little bit of color transfer here. I don't know if you can see it, but very subtle. And because it's a darker leather, it's not obvious. I will say that on the parts of the leather that rub up against your clothing, you can feel there's just a slight difference in the feeling, like on the edge here and here. It feels like almost like that coating has worn off and the leather feels, I wouldn't say sticky, but there's kind of a bit of a tackiness to it. So again, I'm gonna try cleaning it with the leather cleaner and seeing if that makes a difference. The only wear that I see is on the corners here. You can see there's just a little bit of rubbing on the corners. And if you looked really closely again along the piping here, the hardware on the straps still look very, very gold and shiny. Very little wear on here. You would just have to look really close to see where it contacts with the rings where there's just a little bit of silvering, but otherwise the hard hardware looks really good. The strap, no problems on there either. So the strap has held up well. The only thing that I don't like, but this varies from bag to bag, is that this little loop is kind of loose, so it kind of falls down, so then this ends up flapping around. So I'll have to maybe insert something so that it doesn't do that. But the strap looks good. The handles of the bag also still look really good, no problems there. Again, just a slight difference in the feeling of the, the leather from where there's a lot of rubbing or touching, but the inside is also still very clean. It's a smooth leather inside, so if you do get anything in there, it's easily wipeable. And there's the fabric pocket, which has still hold up, held up well, no problems. So as I mentioned, I have been wearing this bag quite a bit. I have found it to be a great everyday bag. It's pretty carefree since it's all leather. You really don't have to worry about major scratches, staining. Um, it's pretty easy to take care of. I also find it very comfortable. These top handles are just really comfy to hold and they're convenient because if you're setting the bag down on let's say your passenger seat of your car, you can easily grab it to go. And also the strap is super nice because then you can adjust it to either wear it on the shoulder or what I like to do is as a crossbody so I can be hands free. I don't find it to be extremely heavy. And I also find the mini size to be the perfect size for most things. It's spacious enough where I can keep my essentials, which for me is usually a small wallet, um, my iPhone, and also my sunglasses. Sometimes I'll throw other things like a small bag with some cosmetics, tissues, hand sanitizer, other things like that. And if I wanted to toss in a water bottle, I could fit that as well. So to me, this is a great size. It's not too big, but it's not a micro bag either. So it's been very, very handy to wear. 
I would also like to share with you guys about the bag organizer that I got for this. The company Zumoni was generous enough to provide some inserts for me to test out and review and share with you guys. This video is not sponsored, but they were nice enough to provide a discount code for my viewers. So if you type in handbag love, it's not case sensitive on their website, that will get you 20% off any bag organizer on their website. So Zumoni has been around for a long time. I've purchased bag organizers from them you know, years ago. They are very high quality. They're made with this really nice smooth felt and it comes in different colors. I'll show you some of the other ones that I have too. Um, so they're very high quality, but they're also super lightweight. And of course, the nice things about organizers is that not only will they protect the inside of your bags from spills, stains, crumbs, what have you, um, but they also provide structure for the bags so that way when you're storing them or as you're using them, it'll maintain the shape. And of course it provides additional organization, more pockets, and it makes it easy that if you have two of the same bag, you can easily take out the insert, pop it into the other bag, and you can transfer your items much easier. So Zumoni is a company based in South Korea. They offer lots of different bag inserts for different brands and different models. So I would highly encourage you to check out their website to see what they have available. They're always updating the website and providing new designs for the new different bags that are coming out on the market. And they're made specifically for the bag, so they'll fit in perfectly. And if you don't see an insert for the bag that you're looking for, just shoot them an email and you can ask them and they'll most likely be able to make it for you. I've always found their customer service to be really great too. Whenever I've emailed them, they responded within just a day or two and have always been very helpful. So if you wanna reach out to them with any questions, I'm sure they'll be more than willing to help. Also, I found that the production time and the shipping has been very reasonable as well, considering that it's coming from overseas, assuming you're in the US like I am. So just to show you here, this particular insert has one, two, three, four, five pockets, and also, of course, one main pocket in the center there. So it just keeps everything organized and easy to find. I have the flaps kind of tucked in because I usually don't zip up the tote when I'm carrying it, but of course, if you wanted to, you can pull this out and zip it even with the organizer in just for added security. There are a lot of different things that you can do to customize this organizer as well. First of all is the felt color. So I purchased this one in the Galaxy Purple. I also have another one in the Canary Yellow. That's for my No ABB. There's gonna be a review coming on that one soon. And I also got one in the Berry Burgundy color, and this one's going to be in my Montaigne BB, which will also be coming up in a review later on. And with all of those purchases, they include this cute little card holder so that you can use that to store cards or lipsticks and put that in there as well. Another thing that you can customize is the felt thickness. So the standard thickness of felt is two millimeters. So if you can see how thick it is here, I purchased this one in the 1.2 millimeters. So you can see the thickness of this pocket versus this one here. So these are nice if you have a smaller bag, you don't want the felt to be as thick and take up as much room and structure isn't as much of an issue for you because obviously the thinner felt is gonna be a little bit softer, less structured, and thicker felt will have more structure to help keep the shape better. Other things that you can add on to the organizers are things like a detachable bottle holder, a key ring, a lipstick pocket, D-rings, so check out the website. There's a lot of different things that you can do to get the exact organizer that you want for your bag. Now the main reason why I got Galaxy Purple 
for the tote is because I purchased this one. This is also the mini tote bag in the beautiful daybreak color. I thought that was so pretty and unique. It's a purple, but it's a cool tone purple that's got almost like blue and gray kind of mixed into it. Super pretty and different. I don't have anything this color. And also it's got silver hardware as opposed to the argan oil, the brown one that has the gold hardware. And this will go in very nicely with this one here. So when I swap out between this color and the other one, I can easily just pick up the insert, throw it in the other bag and I'm good to go. Already organized and also nice and neat. So this bag I've had for about four months I haven't worn it quite as much as the other bag, so but you can also see no major wear and tear on this bag. If you can see very, very subtly, maybe a tiny bit of color transfer on these areas of leather that are slightly raised and rub up against your clothing. So if you have a light colored bag, be careful about dark clothing. I did not spray any of these bags with Carbon Pro or Apple Guard to protect them, but I will go ahead and try cleaning them again with the leather conditioner and see if that takes it out. So just very minor dings on the corners here. Very, very minor, but otherwise no major issues. So I love these bags. So I liked these bags so much that I even went back and purchased a canvas version in the small size. This one I don't wear as much just because it is bigger, it's a little heavier, but I think it's cute and great if you want to carry more. And also it does come with that thicker nylon strap. So if your bag is heavier, it's more comfortable to wear. So my family has grown. They weren't the initial three that I purchased because I had a small or a mini leather, which I kept. Um, I returned this, the mini canvas, and this is actually slightly different than the other small canvas that I had shown you, but I love them. I don't know. I'd probably even consider adding another one later on down the road, but if maybe a particular color caught my eye, but so far I've got three. So I've only worn this bag a few times, so there's really not a whole lot for me to show you. I did notice that there was a little bit of color transfer in the back as well, but I just wiped it with a, a cloth with water and it came off fine. So I didn't have an issue with that, but of course you can always spray with Carbon Pro to protect the fabric before you wear it so that it doesn't get dirty. Um, inside too, I don't have an organizer for this one, but again, I haven't really used it a whole lot, so I didn't really feel the need for it just yet. But yeah, cute, handy, larger size tote compared to the mini. Okay, I just did a quick wipe of those areas that I mentioned might have had a little bit of color transfer or just kind of had a different feel to the leather. I used um, some leather conditioner on a soft, clean white cloth and just went over those areas and even though it was subtle to begin with I did think that it took off the color transfer or dirt that was on there so it looks brand new again and the texture of it is nice and soft and smooth no kind of sticky or tackiness did the same thing on the handles the handles still have a little bit of feeling of tackiness right there so I might go over it again and I did the same thing on this bag it was very subtle to begin with, so but I could notice that there was a little bit of removal of that color transfer. So it'll work. You can always um, use a leather cleaner first, but those are a little bit more harsh, so I would go easy on that. You can also use a water wipe first and see if that'll take it off, but then you can also follow up with a, a leather conditioner. So brings it back to a nice shine and also I did do the corners with the conditioner as, as well, but of course, if there's already color removed, that's not gonna bring it back, but it'll maybe prevent it from cracking, so.
Okay, well that does it for this review on the Marc Jacobs, the tote bags, and updating you on the wear and tear after seven months and after about four months of use. I think they're great bags, very functional, um, stylish, comfortable to carry, and price point is right with these coming in at just about $400. You know, it's not gonna break the bank to buy one or more of them. So if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and feel free to share it with your friends and family. That would really help me out. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, so I appreciate all your support. Once I hit that 1000 subscriber mark, I will be doing a giveaway, so stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.